Hey guys, it's Lindsay, and today's video is going to be a like five top five recommendations video, whatever you want to call it, um, or a random five recommendations video. Anyway, we're just going to go ahead and get started. Um, anyway, some of these books on my list are frequent visitors on my channel. I absolutely love these books and I want a lot of people to read them so I can talk to people about it because I don't like being the only one. Anyway, we're just going to get started. Um, so number five that I'm going to recommend is I'll Meet You There by Heather Demetrios. This is the only book I have by Heather Demetrios, but um, I've heard nothing but fantastic things about her. And just by reading this one, I know for a fact that I'm going to read a lot more of her books. So this is one that I highly recommend. And yeah, so there's that. Number four on this random recommendations is a author that I have like 20 of her books on my shelf and that would be Until Friday Nights by Abby Glines. I mean I really recommend all of Abby Glines books to anybody but for someone who just wants to read a small series the under uh, Until Friday Night or what is it Friday Night Light series is really good. There's only two books in the series right now. I believe there's going to be four or three, three or four. And this first book is about a girl who is a mute after witnessing a terrible event. She decides not to talk to anybody anymore. And the male character is the star quarterback and he makes it his mission to get the girl to start talking to people. And it's cute. It's a little fluff. Uh, eventually we all find out what happens with her and why she stopped talking in the first place, but um, it's a really good book. I will leave the description from the Goodreads page um, in the description box below for all of these books so you can go out and check them out and see what you think of them for yourself, but this one I highly recommend. Number three on my list would be the Alpha and Omega series by Patricia Briggs. And this is about a girl that gets turned into a werewolf. And the, the guy that comes and takes her back to his compound turns into her mate. It's crazy, I know. But um, I really loved this first book. And this first book, de book, this cover, depicts exactly what happens. This girl becomes a fierce lady and her mate is always by her side and I absolutely loved it. I read it. I believe I read the first book in two days. I'm still reading the series. I think I'm on the third book right now but um, I have nothing but great. This book is really really good. I will also leave the description in the box below so you can go ahead and check that out if you're interested in reading this book. Number two on my list is a whole series because I absolutely love this series and want more people to read that or read it and that would be Crash, Clash, and Crush by Nicole Williams and this series is about a girl who is a ballerina and she meets this guy who has who is nothing but bad news according to the town that she lives in and um, she is the new kid in the town that she just moved to um, and I think it's in New York if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, this whole series just follows their um, relationship out throughout the whole book, and it's very good, and I highly recommend it, and yeah. So, go out and read it, because I loved it so very, very much. Number one on my list, and this should not be a surprise to anybody if they've watched my channel for a while, and that would be The Mighty Storm by Samantha Toll. I am currently rereading this book because I love it so freaking much. Samantha Toll is an auto buy author for me. Like anything new that she comes out with, I will immediately buy. I don't have to know what it's about. But anyway, this one is about a rock star and a music journalist. Um, they were best friends back when they were younger and up until the age of 14 when the main male character moved to the United States. This book is taking place in England. Um, when, the, when the male character moved to the United States, he stopped communicating with his female best friend. And it just gets crazier from there. So, like... 10 years pass, they're in their 20s, and he returns to England after going through a lot of rehab because he 
was very addicted to drugs and alcohol and all that other fun stuff. So he actually goes into an interview not knowing that the female is a female interviewer is his best friend from when they were kids. So um, it just turns into this beautiful love story with a lot of twists and turns and it's just it's just very it's like we're very refreshing to read and I mean it has it has a lot of craziness that happens but it's it's very good craziness if you know what I'm saying so um highly 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 recommend this book to anybody who likes a good rock star romance it's very good so yeah and that is it for my quick little five recommendations video um let me know if you guys have read any of these books let me know a couple of book recommendations that you want me to read and I will see you guys soon bye